Whether it's the old footage of the last in captivity or the movie that drew Hollywood to Tasmania. People around the world know of the long extinct thylacine. What if you could find out that using the DNA in museum specimens and fossils made up to 200,000 years old could be used to bring species back? Work is already underway to de-extinct one long-lost creature. Now the same company is partnering with the University of Melbourne to bring the thylacine back in as little as 10 years. A time frame like a decade is really reasonable to think that we should be well on our way to having that first thylacine brought back. Genetic sequencing and reproductive technology like IVF will play an important role, as will this little guy, the fat-tailed Dunart possibly soon a surrogate for the Tasmanian tiger. When people say this is playing God, I say that, you know, we do this all the time. We play God all the time. We certainly played God when we exterminated the thylacine. This could also help other marsupials like the koala, which are vulnerable to natural disasters like bushfires. Scientists are also collecting their tissue for their biobank, so if they ever go extinct, they could bring them back too. There are those who don't believe the thylacine is extinct. They want more money spent on investigating sightings. You've got to be out there to see it. If you're not out there, you're just not going to spot it. One American thylacine fan says the prospect of seeing a Tasmanian tiger in the wild would be a dream come true. They're really unique. They look really cool and I think they're really cute. Until then, she's content to settle for the next best thing. Liz Gwynn, ABC News.